did you have to prove yourself a little bit more? Being that I you're mean, a white yeah, dude. More, yeah, to be honest with you, I, I sit here and lie and say like it wasn't a little harder. Yeah, of course. You know, you're the white person around there. We, uh, some people don't give a. I mean, excuse me. I don't know if I can cuss, but oh, you can some cuss all you want. Care. Yeah, some people don't give a fuck who you are. I, I mean, I don't give a fuck who your people is or whatever. They don't try you, and it's not. It's sometimes it's not like they're just trying to try you to like to mark you out. They just want to see where you at. You know, like where I come from, it's 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 it's, it's vicious. You know, they raise like vicious people. Not too many people yeah. make it a part of it. Out of that section where I come from, I, I don't come from the fifties, not the seventies. Okay, yeah, I was gonna ask you that. What what uh, what Hoover said you from specifically? Seven four. That's, Seven that's four. Seven four. Bigger row. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always tell everybody if you see a group of black dudes and one or two white cats, don't fuck with the white cats. Those dudes had to. <laughs> Those are the ones that are about it. They had to prove himself twice. It's like Eminem. He's a, you know, he's a yeah, good rapper, yeah, yeah. but he had to. Yeah, on top of that, and not because yeah. y'all's on top of that. If you know, it's, it's more deadlier because when it's on, if you, if you, if your face known or if people talking about you, it's no way you can avoid nothing. If you black, right. they found me your face. They can be like, I don't know him. Me, they know who I am. And then I'm out there with orange flags, orange laces. Uh, Hoover hats, all that. So, it's, you know, like I was branched out, extra out, frontliner. It was crazy. Explain to me what it was like, or take me back to the day that you actually got jumped in. Um, like you, you gotta go through a lot of shit. See, me, it was kind of like, I wouldn't say easier, but it wasn't really like what it was supposed to be, you know, because I already knew everybody. I've been. I've been fucking with everybody. Like, I've been playing the shit in the juvenile hall, all that shit. So mine was different, you know? Just one day, the homies was right there. I was right there. One of them had just got out of jail. He like, hey, bro, you might as well just come, you know, all that shit. And it was just one of them days. I was like, fuck it, come on. And, uh, and it was just on from there. But it was normal. It was regular. But then that's when it just became, like, serious. Like, really serious. Because now you got... Now you're a part of something for real, for real. What years were you most active? Um, from anywhere, from anything previous from like 2016 on down, from like 2006, seven on up to like 2015 was the most, the most like the most bullshit, the most anything. That's when everything happened. Like before that, I already I already had jumped off the porch. I remember growing up, and the two big toll strolls, I was right down the street from one of them. One of them was Long Beach Boulevard, the other one was Figueroa. The Figueroa yeah. still popping like that, on, uh, yeah. as far as the whole stroll? Yeah, hell yeah. I was Snow White the P off the FIG. <laughs> that shit crazy. Oh, yeah, one of my closest, Yeah, one of my closest homeboys that got murdered right in front of me. You know, he was he used to be on that shit. Um, that's where I was learning that shit from. He used to be out there, like... Uh, so you camp? Uh huh. Used to pimp. Yeah, I was Snow White the P off the FIG. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Got but it. it was it was it was like not long lived. It wasn't because I couldn't do it. I just started like realizing what was going on and what was like what was everything like with that shit. I got nieces and shit, and I can't do it. You know, I got stepdaughter, and that just ain't what it is. Then you gotta just think about it, like what he's really doing to him, and then you gotta think about if somebody do it to one of your people, how you gonna react? So I know how I'm gonna react. So I just I cut that nip and I nip that in the bud real quick. I don't go with game banging like that, you know. Like when I grew up, it wasn't shit changed now, but you know back then it wasn't like you was game banging and pimping. If you was game banging, you was not pimping. Now it's like. They're doing both, and it's you can't do both because when you're pimping, you find other people from everywhere. So, you know, it's a lot of shit changed now.